Here's challenge number 34, energy reading or ESP version number one. All right, now here's something you want to get a partner involved in. We have our, our, lo our lovely assistant, Andrew Hall, also manager of the Roxy. Thanks for coming, Andrew. Hi. He's funny. <laughs> right, now, <laughs> what you do is you set up, you know, I'm, uh, I'm pretty good at, uh, at energy and, and reading uh, just energy patterns and people, and I pay a lot of attention. I'm sort of very in intuitive that way. And uh, I can actually tell when people touch things, because when people touch things, they have an energy pattern, they have an aura, and right? they leave a little bit of, of an energy trace. So um, what we're going to do, a little experiment, because most people don't believe me. So what we're going to do is, uh, I I've laid out a few objects here, right? And just all sorts of interesting things. And of course, we have our, our flare bottle here, because <laughs> so we do practice without killing anybody. Now, there's some straws over here. Uh, there's a beer bottle, and there's a glass, and we'll put a, uh, a, a beer opener. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my back, and Andrew is going to pick an object, right? And he's going to, to pick it up, and he's going to sort of, when he picks it up, he's, he's got to think about it. He's got he's to hold it, and he's got to really sort of put his energy and his thought into it, uh, or else it won't work. You've got you to really try here. You've got to help me out. So, so I'm going to turn I'm my back. I'm really skeptical about it. I understand. I understand, but uh, you know, it's, it's you know, well, well, I guess we'll find out. So I'm gonna turn my back. I'm not gonna look in the mirror. I'll even close my eyes. I'll go in the other room if you like. Uh, again, it's good to do with a, a big group of people. And uh, you're gonna pick an object. You're gonna pick it up, and you guys gonna make sure he doesn't cheat or anything, right? And make sure he really gives the energy. And I'm gonna come back, and uh, I'm gonna be able to tell uh, tell you which one that that, uh, that you you handled, that you fondled. <laughs> all right. All right, <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna turn my back and walk away. And I'm not going to look, and you've got to give it your good energy, all right? Okay. So, okay, here we go. I'm not looking. The game begins. I'm not looking. <laughs> Is he doing a good job? <laughs> all right? All about the energy. Don't make me start singing. <laughs> Tell me when you're done. We're all done, Mascotti. You're all done? Okay, you sure? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling it. Come back and see if I uh, can actually do this. The game continues. Okay, so here we are. Now, as I said, I'm going to go through and I'm going to touch each object. So I'm going to see what kind of energy I get from them, and uh, and we'll see how we go. What do you think? Is it a flare bottle? No, I'm not. Uh, I don't know. Could it be the straws? Hmm. I don't know. Could be. Could be, I don't know. You guys feeling it? Hmm. I'm not really feeling it. Mm, wait a minute. Mm. No, wait, wait, wait. Maybe it was. Maybe. It, no, you know, I, I, I'm sensing something from, from the bottle. I'm sensing something. From, I think I think it was the bottle. I think it was the bottle. You always said that because you know I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? You're right. It's the bottle. Very good. <laughs> How do you do that? Give me your car. <laughs> Here's the solution to that ESP version 1 game. All right, now, we're going to actually show you. Thank you very much. All right, now, we've made it pretty simple here. We've kind of minimized everything going on here. You might have figured this out. Now, in a big group of people, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of things that are going on, the music and the lights and stuff. So basically what I've done is I've got an accomplice, OK? March is my partner. We're working together on this. So, oh, so that's what you're doing here. Yes, you sneaky bastard. It's a teamwork thing. So what I've done basically is I've prearranged a signal. And I'll, I happen to make the signal something that's going to happen all the time. He's drinking his beer and he puts it down on the coaster. Right? So basically once I've gone through and I touched the right object, right, he's going to take his time and I'm going to take my time with things. I'm trying not to rush it. And as soon as I 
as soon as I touch it, at some point during while I'm touching it or after I've put it down, he's going to then give me the signal. And then I use it just to throw him off. I go on to another object, and maybe even two, and then I go back, wait, wait, no, and it, you really play it up. It's a good, fun game. So um, if you do this properly and you practice it a little bit, people will just not clue in. And change the signals. Change it to be, uh, you know, brush, brush in your hair. Right? That's a pretty obvious signal, right? But for this case in purposes, it, uh, it kind of works. But um, I think we've actually got a clip of, uh, of one. I actually did this at, uh, I actually did this with Sean Greco in Bermuda. So it's a little bit dark, but we're going to show you just exactly how, uh, how crazy and how fun we have with it. So anyway, give it a try.